So where have I been? Since dropping my last video where I said it's time to say goodbye and I was talking about my old bike, the YTD Koi Shred, it was time to say goodbye to that because I got a new bike. I haven't dropped a video since. So I wanna give you just a little update video today, let you know what's been going on with me, where my new bike is, and details on the next group ride. 2022 has been very, very busy for me. Right after the spring, it just really started ramping up and it has not slowed down. Now I'm part of an eight to nine week art program that's been taking place every single week in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is three hours in the future. So almost on a weekly basis, I've been flying out to Charlotte, North Carolina to teach art. I also got a new client up in San Jose where I was doing leadership development. I absolutely love the opportunity to be back with organizations in person doing leadership development. So I've been taking a lot of time and energy into these other passions that I have, leadership development and art. Now, because of those things, it doesn't leave me a lot of time to make mountain biking videos for right now. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not interested in doing that still or that I want the channel to dip far from it, but I actually don't have a bike. Now, I know in my last video, I said that I would put up when I was going to sell my YT decoy shred, but it actually sold before I even listed it. Now, it belongs to a happy member of the Bomber crew. So thank you, Tony, very much for taking on the YT decoy shred. And I hope you're having a great time out on the trails with it. Now, when it comes to my new bike, I have yet to ride it on the trails. See, there was a lot I wanted done to my new bike, first of which is I wanted it ride wrapped. I did not want to take it on the trails without getting it wrapped. So the bike is now wrapped, but it has still been at Gravity Bicycles waiting for all the components to come in because there were some very specific things that I wanted to do to my new bike, like get my brakes switched out, the type of fork I wanted to have, the type of shock that I wanted to have on it. And it couldn't have come at a better time waiting for these components because of how busy I've been. I actually have not had a lot of time to be out on the trails. So I do miss being on the trails and miss that camaraderie of being out with a great mountain biking crew and just out exploring and adventuring, especially with how great the weather has been. But I am really looking forward to the fact that I think we're really close to getting my bike all dialed in and prepped so that I can have a maiden voyage on it. So be ready for that video when it comes out. Now, besides just being busy, I actually got COVID and it was pretty rough uh, when I got it. I've lost 10 pounds in the last week. And after getting back from Charlotte, I wasn't feeling that well. And long story short, uh, I had excruciating body aches and migraines. I uh, started throwing up, collapsing on my bathroom floor, ended up in the ER, got a CT scan, swabbed, all of that stuff and I have been on the road to recovery. And when I say it wiped me out, like it really wiped me out. I still feel pretty fatigued physically, but I'm really grateful to even be able to film this video right now. For a number of days, I could barely open my eyes just from the excruciating migraine. So, you know, I was just uh, in this pattern of trying to endure and stay hydrated and rest as much as possible. So if you haven't seen a lot of me on social media, or if you haven't heard from me personally, that's exactly what now I gotta say, it absolutely feels great to be on the road to recovery and I'm super excited to get back out on the trails and test my new bike. And the timing could not be better because my first group ride of 2023, and I think it might be my only group ride, I think I might only do one of these a year, is gonna be on January 1st at the Fullerton Loop. It's gonna be hosted by Gravity Bicycles and it will start at 10 o'clock a.m. So y'all get to sleep in on New Year's Day and roll your way over to Fullerton to join us while a flock gathers for the Fullerton Loop group ride. Now, I don't know my way around the Fullerton Loop. I've only done it a few times. So I've enlisted the best trail guide we have in SoCal, the outsider, Tony De Silva. He's gonna be joining us and he will be guiding us through the entire Fullerton Loop. Now, this ride is open to every single person, regardless of skill level or age. We're gonna go at a social pace, try and keep everyone together and have a really good time on this ride. There are some punchy climbs to the Fullerton Loop here and there, but as a whole, the Fullerton Loop is a great cruise of a ride where we can kick off the new year all hanging out together and it will culminate after the ride downtown Fullerton at Roscoe's where we will eat have some drinks and enjoy each other's company can't think of a better way to kick off the new year than with a flock gathering at the Fullerton Loop so I hope to see you there I definitely encourage you share this video with a friend save the date let them know all about it invite everyone that you want Let's take over the Fullerton Loop on January 1st and have a great time. So that's exactly what's been going on. I've been traveling, I've been working really, really hard. I got sick and I don't have a bike right now, but the channel is alive and well, and I hope to see you on January 1st at the Fullerton Loop for that flock gathering group ride. Until then, peace and love. 
say what you want, to say what you will. I miss the right, right that I knew. All of this heaven exploding above is a beautiful mess. It's. Good.